big change for Nurse Trixie is she's got engaged. She got engaged, finally. Finally, <laughs> she's come back from Pontefrinto. Where was Pontefrinto. it? Where did she go? <laughs> Not in Wales. Where was she? Pa- oh, Portofino. Portofino. <laughs> What's it like being part of such an iconic series? <laughs> well, I don't think of it like that for a start because otherwise I'd just scare myself every mm. day. Mm. It's amazing, though, because we started it and it was just six episodes one summer and we yeah. didn't even know we were going to do another series. And then to be here 12 years later, it's ridiculous. Ah, oh, but it's so wonderful. It's so mm, uplifting. It's positive. What do you think has kept it going? I think the say? writing is amazing mm. and I think it's fresh. I think also these subjects that we tackle, even though it's a Sunday night drama, it's, you know, it's quite hard hitting. Mm. And some of the subjects are still relevant today. You know, a lot of the women's issues that we deal with yeah. still are. So I think it's 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 interesting. And also the fact that, you know, there's nuns and yeah, that's it's always, lovely. Always good, and isn't it? It's yeah. always good. Nothing, I mean, if You've never seen a show you don't like that's got nuns in exactly. it. Exactly. I mean, it's been an exciting time for Nurse Trixie, though, hasn't it? You've had, I mean, the Christmas special, I was, you know, crying. Oh, did you watch it? Yeah, yes, <laughs> of course I did. did we you? didn't watch it as it went out, actually. My boyfriend is, uh, also, is is actually the person who's got me into this. My boyfriend, Alfie, and um, my friend, Susie Ruffle, mm. we, they're the two people who've really been the gateway to, for me to call the midwife. <laughs> so we saved it and we watched it when we had some time to appreciate it. And, of course, one goes in, like, all lighthearted about it. Mm. And then... And by the end, everybody's crying. And yeah. um, it was beautiful. And a big change for Nurse Trixie is... Well, can we, we can say, we can say, we can say, she's got engaged. She got engaged, finally. Finally, she's come back from Ponte Frinto. Where was Ponte it? Frinto. Where did she go? Not in Wales. Where was she? Pa- oh, Portofino. Portofino. <laughs> she went to Portofino, came back in the jack. She's posh, isn't she? Well, she's she's marrying well, let's say that. Oh, he's got a jack. She's, yeah, he's got a jack. Got well, a jack. I mean, I do feel a bit like, oh, come on, mate. Do you have to put up in the big jag outside the convent? They're all <laughs> skipping around and barely got by to go on and you come up in your big big motor in your big motor but actually that car is an absolute nightmare it's almost falling apart and it's oh. so hard to get out of especially in a mini skirt <laughs> oh yeah because the fashions are stunning aren't they they're amazing yeah. and Trixie I think has the best wardrobe in it like all those great great outfits and great she does really well. kind of power the dressing the sequin um, power suit for the engagement <gasps> scene was a particular favourite oh one. yeah that was lovely on the bridge on the lovely bridge scene and I on the did bridge, leave though. half of the sequins on Battersea Bridge <laughs> oh did you oh it's fine it's fine I'm sure Trixie she'd just go buy another one wouldn't she <laughs> <laughs> I also really like the Vanessa Redgrave um, voiceover at the end. Is she there when when you actually are acting that last scene, whispering in the corner? I wish she was, but I always <laughs> sort of have undertones. Of do you in the back of it? Do you have her in the back of, of your head? You have like an earpiece playing Vanessa Redgrave. I should do you, that. You should do that. Like don't should. actually some actors do that. You yeah. could just have her saying wise things. You yeah. know, you must throw your just ring. in life. <laughs> yeah, in life that would be. People should sell that as a as an app. As, exactly like a podcast. She oh. could have her own like soothing podcast. Vanessa Redgrave, just say wise things. Just say things like. Miracles, love, no what? I love your impression. Of <laughs> yeah, I try and do an impression of Nurse Trixie. Basically, to do Nurse Trixie, you just have to abandon all apostrophes, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> so, I should really like to come forward. I just, I, she never says I'll or I'd. She yeah. always says I would love to come. I should like to be there. I yeah. should. I know, it's quite been, clipped. Quite clipped. It is quite. Clipped. In a way that people did talk back then, of course, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, absolutely. Um, people of... always kind of like hear my voice and recognise me, I guess, because and I'm trying to shake Trixie off in my. Don't normal. keep it. Keep it. It's nice. <laughs> Clip. Sheila, Dr. Turner's wife, yes. Sheila, who you oh, did a... Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dr. Turner. Oh. Ah, and I Dr. Love Turner. Her dearly. Oh, she's so lovely, isn't she? Actually, I did once um, tweet about Call the Midwife and she responded. And I oh, said, did oh. she? Oh. Um, and then Dr. Turner, mm. Dr. Tina Turner, he talks very... <laughs> I'm going to call him very, Dr. Tina Turner. Dr. Turner, Dr. Tina Turner. Um, <laughs> Dr. Turner, he speaks very slowly and sometimes quiet. Quietly, <laughs> I brought you. You must take the tablets. Um, <laughs> I could do the whole thing. I think I think I should come down to the set. Actually, really? anyway, find out more on episode two of Call the Midwife, which airs on BBC One at eight pm this Sunday. And of course, you can get it all on the BBC iPlayer. Get it all, catch up on all of it. It's a perfect bit of January feel good viewing, isn't it? So, thank you so much for thank joining us, everybody. Helen George, Helen George, so what a treat. 